Once that's done, let us introduce a heater. Provide it with one material stream and one energy stream. Click on the material stream and change its object name to, to ammonia reactor. And change the energy stream name to Q heat. Click on the heater and change its object name to heater. The inlet stream is to heater, the outlet stream is to ammonia reactor and the energy stream is Q heat. Once the connections are made, change the calculation type to outlet temperature. The pressure drop is 0 bar, the efficiency is 100% and let's change the outlet temperature value to 100 degrees Celsius and click on enter. Now let us define a conversion reaction. So click on the settings menu. And under the reactions tab, click on add reaction and select conversion. And let us name this reaction as ammonia reaction. Once that's done, let us select the components to be included in the reaction. Ammonia, nitrogen, and hydrogen are the components selected to be included in the reaction and select nitrogen as the base component. Now let us enter the stoichiometric coefficient values of these components. Hydrogen is minus 3, nitrogen is minus 1 and ammonia is 2. Click on balance. You can see that our reaction is balanced. Now under the conversion reaction parameters, the base component is nitrogen. Change the phase to mixture and let us enter the conversion percentage as 97 and click on OK. Once that's done, under the reaction set, double click on the default set and let us name this set as ammonia reaction. And the ammonia conversion reaction is selected under the set. Click on OK. So now we have defined one conversion reaction and one reaction set. Once this is done, let us close this window. Now let us introduce a conversion reactor. So drag and drop a conversion reactor from the reactors tab and provide it with two outlet material streams and one energy stream. Name the top material stream as vapor to cooler. And the bottom material stream as liquid out. And change the energy stream name to QRE. Click on the conversion reactor and change its object name to ammonia reactor. Now the inlet stream is to ammonia reactor. The outlet stream 1 is vapor to cooler. Outlet stream 2 is liquid out and select the energy stream as QRE. Now under the calculation parameters, the reaction set chosen is ammonia reaction. Change the calculation mode to define outlet temperature. The property package is Peng Robinson and the pressure drop is 0 bar. Now let us change the outlet temperature value to 450 degrees Celsius and click on enter. Now from the object palette, let us introduce another cooler. Provide it with one material stream and one energy stream. Click on the material stream and change its object name to to sep1 and change the energy stream name to Q cool 4 Click on the cooler and change its object name to cooler 4. The inlet stream is vapor to cooler. The outlet stream is to sep1 and the energy stream is Q cool 4 once the connections are made, change the calculation type to outlet temperature. The pressure drop is 0 bar. The efficiency is 100% and let us change the outlet temperature value to 110 degrees Celsius and click on enter. Once that's done, let us introduce a separator, a compound separator. So drag and drop a compound separator. Provide it with two outlet material streams. 
and one energy stream. Name the top material stream as two splitter. The bottom material stream as two septo. And the energy stream as Q sep one. Click on the separator and change its object name to sep one. The inlet stream is to sep one. Outlet stream one is to splitter. Outlet stream two is to sep two, and the energy stream is Q sep one. Once the connections are made, select outlet stream one for the separation factor specified for. and let us enter the separation factor of hydrogen as 100 and click on enter once that's done let us introduce a stream splitter so from the mixer splitter tab drag and drop a stream splitter and provide it with two outlet material streams name one material stream as hydrogen to recycle and the other material stream as h2 expose click on the stream splitter and change its object name to split1 the inlet stream is to splitter outlet stream 1 is hydrogen to recycle outlet stream 2 is h2 expose once the connections are made change the calculation type to stream mass flow specs and enter stream 1 flow spec value as 1000 kg per hour and click on enter now from the logical ops tab let us introduce a recycle block and provide it with one material stream click on the material stream and change its object name to hydrogen recycled and name the recycle block as hydrogen recycle the inlet stream is hydrogen to recycle and the outlet stream is hydrogen recycled once the connections are made click on solve flow sheet now click on mix to and select inlet stream 2 as hydrogen recycle and solve the flow sheet again once the flow sheet is solved Let us introduce another compound separator after separator one, and provide it with two outlet material streams and one energy stream. Name the top material stream as two CV one, and the bottom material stream as nitrogen to recycle. and name the energy stream as q sep2 click on the compound separator and change its object name to sep2 now select inlet stream as to sep2 outlet stream 1 is to cv1 outlet stream 2 is nitrogen to recycle and the energy stream is q sep2 once the connections are made Select outlet stream one for separation factor specified for, and under the separation factors, enter the value of ammonia as hundred and click on enter. Once that's done, let us introduce another recycle block from the logical ops tab. Provide it with one material stream. Click on the material stream and change its object name to nitrogen recycled. Click on the recycle block. and change its object name to nitrogen recycle the inlet stream is nitrogen to recycle and the outlet stream is nitrogen recycled click on solve flow sheet now click on mix to and select inlet stream 3 as nitrogen recycled and once the connection is made solve the flow sheet again you can see that the flow sheet has converged without any errors We have successfully come to the end of the tutorial and this is the complete flow sheet for the production of ammonia and it has been simulated successfully I hope this video was useful to you thank you